Hello, my name is Holden Hardman and welcome to part 2 of the History of Pensacola video. In case you missed part 1, all I do is I take pictures taken from over 100 years ago and I compare them as accurately as I can to today. And what we're left with is a really cool effect. I also want to give a big shout out to the Pensacola Historic Society for allowing me to go in and handpick some of the pictures that I'm about to show you here. They watched the first video and were very enthusiastic about me reaching out to them and able to make this one. But for now, I think you'll really enjoy what I'm about to show you. This picture of the Island Cross was taken in the late 50s or early 60s. Here again in the late 50s, early 60s, a group of sailors stand alongside Palafox Street. This here is a postcard dated in 1942. If you're local and you're wondering where you've seen this before, it served as the inspiration for the mural on the wall of Pensacola's Brouhaha. Here's hoping I get a free coffee out of this. My girlfriend and I liked it so much we had to get a picture. Pensacola Hospital, now known as the historic Sacred Heart Hospital, opened in September of 1915 as the first and oldest Catholic hospital in Florida. Here's the same hospital from a different perspective. This is the Cadet Nurses Home in the early 1900s. It sits on 12th Avenue alongside Pensacola Hospital. This picture of the Pensacola Lighthouse is undated, but we believe it was taken in the early 1900s. This postcard of the lighthouse was taken in the early 1900s. This here is a water tower on Pensacola Beach before it was the iconic beach ball. This picture dated in the 1950s. Here's another a little newer, dated in the 1970s. This is Pensacola High School, dated in 1919. But something isn't quite right about this. When I went out there to recreate this picture, I just couldn't get it to align right and something just wasn't adding up. I found out that this was not actually the original Pensacola High School, and that the original had burned down many years ago. The original stood at Lee Square, which you can see in this postcard dated in the early 1900s. What does it look like now? Well, the answer is a little bit lackluster. The building was destroyed and replaced with this very ordinary looking parking lot. Moving on. Here's an iconic chimney located at Langley and Scenic. This picture dated in 1969. The chimney itself was built in the mid 1850s, so what we're seeing is about 200 years of history. Here's a picture of the Bay Bluffs dated in the early 1900s. Rex Theater on Palafox, dated 1937. The Fiesta of Five Flags, dated in 1952. This celebration still takes place to this day. Fiesta of Five Flags, dated in 1961. Here we have the Isis Theater between Palafox and Garden. Wait a minute, the Isis Theater? We're just gonna ignore that, I guess. This was taken in 1937. Here's another of the Isis Theater, dated in 1937 as well. This is the Thiessen Building on Palafox, dated in 1906. After a large hurricane hit Pensacola in 1906, Palafox Street was flooded. This picture at Fort Pickens was dated at February 20th, 1958. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you check out part one, which you can find on my YouTube channel. Thanks again to the Pensacola Historic Society for assisting me in making this second video. I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.